So you walk into the store and you see them. You are in love. The most beautiful pair of shoes you have ever laid eyes on. Shoes are the foundation of your wardrobe. They're worth investing in. That being said, nobody wants to waste their money on a pair of shoes that they never use. In today's video, 10 mistakes that you want to avoid when you're going out there and investing in high quality shoes. Mistake number one and the biggest mistake that people make when they're buying shoes is that they equate value with price. They are not the same thing. Let me introduce you to my style theory of value. The style theory of value goes that value is equal to the number of wears times the way it makes you feel divided by the price. So you bought the shoes for 50 bucks, thought you were getting a great deal, but when it comes down to it, you put them on, they hurt your feet. And when it comes down to it, you wear them a total of five times. How do they make you feel on a scale of one to a hundred? We'll be generous. We'll give them a 10. So we've got five times 10, 50, 50 divided by 50, a value of one. Now this other pair of shoes cost you $500, but when you bought them, you just loved the way they look, the way they fit, the way that they feel. You wear them 500 times over the next few years and you think about, okay, how do they make you feel? On a scale of one to a hundred, they make you feel like a million bucks, a hundred we're going to give it. So 500 times a hundred divided by 500, these have a value of 100. Now I want to stress, I'm not saying that you got to spend $500 on a pair of shoes. What I am saying is pay attention to how the shoes fit. Pay attention to how they make you feel and those are the key factors. When you get a pair of shoes that you absolutely love, you find excuses to wear them and they make you feel like a million bucks and that's what style is all about. Building up your confidence so you can go out there and be the man you know yourself to be. The next mistake you want to be careful of when investing in a high quality pair of shoes is overpaying. And too many ways you're going to be overpaying. One is you're going to go for a fashion label. You're going to go for a brand name, but oftentimes you're just paying extra, a lot of margin to that brand simply to get that name and no one's going to be able to tell on the shoes. Another way you could overpay is you can go with a particular brand that really just, it's a great brand like John Lobb or maybe Alden great companies, but the problem there is not everyone needs to be spending 800 or over a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. I personally believe that there are so many options out there with the internet. It has really leveled the playing field. Nowadays, you can buy directly from companies that don't have big storefronts and are able to pass on the savings. And with that being said, gents, I want you to check out Ace Marks, the paid sponsor of today's video. I'm linking to them down in the description. What I love about this company, quality at a great price. Gentlemen, these are $600 shoes that are selling for a fraction of that. These guys are creating some of the most comfortable shoes you're going to find out there. And what I love about Ace Marks is their Blake Flex construction. Basically, the shoes are built so they're lightweight, they're flexible, they don't require a break-in period, they're comfortable right out the box. And I absolutely love all the options, all the different styles they've got. They've got your base foundation shoes. Then you've got these fashion forward pieces. These things right here, again, it's not too fashion forward, but I love the blue suede in here with a little bit of broguing and, you know, right here, the wingtip that can get you compliments every time you wear it and help you stand out from the crowd. And guys, if you haven't been to the website lately, you need to get over there and check out this new Tremonto patina. A patina is where you add layers and layers, mixing colors together. This is a sign of very high quality shoes because it takes a lot of work. This is all handwork that goes in over in Italy. It is going to stand out without actually being over outlandish or anything. It's just something that screams for attention while still being subtle and stylish. I'm linking to Ace Marks down in the description of this video with the best discount code you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. Great company. I've talked about them for years. Absolutely love how they bring you affordable shoes at a great price take advantage of this. The next mistake you want to avoid when buying quality footwear is don't start off with an eccentric style. You want to go with a classic workhorse. Why? Because you're going to get more wears out of it. You've got a black, you know, cap toe Oxford right here. This right here is going to work with any type of business attire, a suit. Maybe you want something a bit more casual Then maybe you go for a blucher in brown, a little bit of a cap toe right here. If you buy something that's eccentric, I'm not saying that you're not going to wear it and maybe it could be a great investment, but I do think that you should start with your foundations first. So the next mistake men make when they're investing in high quality shoes is they can't spot quality. Again, they think they got a great deal until they notice those shoes are glued. These shoes are made out of plastic. Just because it's shiny does not mean it's stylish. So the issue with poor quality shoes is not so much the gluing. I mean, that's bad because it's eventually going to fall apart and it can't be resold. But really, if they glued the shoes together, they didn't use quality components on the sole. They didn't use quality components on the upper. When you're looking at a pair of shoes, you want to make sure, first off, 
what type of construction did they use? You want to look for a Blake stitch or you want to look for a Goodyear welt. Both of those are great. And yes, some people I know prefer one or the other. But again, what you want to look at is the stitching and on the bottom, not always going to be possible. This one right here has a rubber sole and that does not mean that it isn't going to be Blake stitch or Goodyear welted. But what you normally want to look for is going to be a leather sole and you can see the stitching right in here. Now with the Goodyear welt, I'm also going to be able to see stitching right here on the outside. With a Blake stitch, you won't be able to see that. You would actually have to take out the inner lining of the shoe and you would see the stitching on in there. I've got an infographic for you. Check this out right here. And as you can see, I've got tons of details about the construction. I will link to that down in the description if you want to go check it out in more detail. The next mistake is only buying one pair. And I'm not saying that you got to get the same exact pair, but I would say, you know what? If you like that little bit of contrast right there, why not get two pairs of shoes that serve? The thing is, you don't want to have one pair of high quality shoes that you wear every single day. You want to rotate. You want to give the shoes time to breathe. And speaking of breathing, the next mistake is not taking care of your investment. You want to have a quality shoe tree. A shoe tree made from cedar is going to basically, it's going to pull a little bit of moisture out, but also it's going to keep the shape of the shoe. So you want to invest in a quality pair of shoe trees, specifically those made for the shoe. The next mistake, some guys think that polishing their shoes or using a conditioner is somehow optional when it comes to your shoes. Guys, if you want your shoes to last, especially more than one winter, you need to take care of them. This is your first line of defense. What this does is when you put a wax on them, it creates a thin film, a layer. That layer will protect your shoes, not only from the elements, from water and from salt, but also a abrasion. So whenever you knock it up against something, guess what? It just knocks the layer of wax off. It doesn't penetrate the shoe. Now, sometimes it will, but what you're looking to do is create that thin layer of defense that's going to help your shoes last longer. The next mistake men make after they've invested in a high quality pair of shoes is they do not store them properly. So first off, whenever your shoes are a little bit moist, do not put them next to heat, next to a heater, next to a fire that is going to damage the leather on your shoes. Also, you want to make sure to use that shoe bag. If you bought from a high quality manufacturer, they should have given you a shoe bag. Now shoe bags are great because one, they're going to keep the dust off your shoes, but they're also a reminder before you put your shoes away, you want to clean them off. You want to and maybe even apply a shine. I know I like to do that versus actually when I need to go somewhere looking for the shoes and they're all scuffed up. No, before you put them away, make sure to shine them and then put them in their shoe bag and also keep the shoe box because you can put them in the shoe box and that actually allows you to even stack them in your closet. So the next mistake that men make when they're buying high quality shoes is they don't pay attention to the details because they don't know what details to look for. So first off, look at the heel of the high quality dress shoe. It should be something that it's broken up into multiple pieces. This is layers of leather. Now these layers of leather, yes, do have a bit of glue in there, but they should have tacks. Basically small nails that are right here in this. This right here is a sign of high quality. Another small thing I like is when they've got a bit of rubber, it gives you a little bit of traction. Each company does this a little bit differently. Now another thing, when you see broguing on a shoe and those are small leather holes, perforations here, you want to make sure that they're very clean. Another thing you want to look at when you're going in and you're looking on the inside of the shoe is that it has a leather lining. So if it doesn't have a lining, then basically there's no protection from your sweaty foot to go to the outer part of the shoe. Another thing is the stitching. So if they've got that lining, you want to pay attention to the stitching. They should be a single stitch and it should be pretty even around the edges. Another mistake you want to make sure before you leave the store, before you leave the company, that you find a belt that matches. This color right here, it's actually kind of difficult to match. So you want to go in most companies, they're going to have a series of belts that work. Another thing is to find a polish. Ask them which polish you can apply. But in any case, no matter what they tell you, make sure to always test the polish on the tongue of the shoe and see if it does any type of discoloration before you actually apply it right here on the upper. So this next mistake I probably could have started with and that is do not work with companies that don't care about you. Basically companies that have bad customer service and they're out there. I hate to say it, but there are some companies, honestly, they don't care. I like smaller companies or larger companies that have great customer service because for me, if I'm going to spend good money on a pair of shoes, I want it to be something that's going to last a long time. And if the stitching starts to come apart, which can happen on any company with any type of build, sometimes just there's bad quality or bad batch. You want to make sure that you're going to be taken care of. Now, at this point, you may have questions about which dress shoes to actually buy, which ones are going to be the dressiest, which ones are going to 
to be the most casual. Guys, I've got you covered with this video right here and I rank 10 dress shoes from the most casual to the dressiest type of dress shoes out there. So guys, check out this video. I'm linking to it down in the description. And gents, don't forget, go check out Ace Marks. I'm linking to them down in the description with the best discount code you're going to find out there. And go check out these new, these new line of shoes with this really nice patina. I can tell you this right here is going to help you stand out from the crowd. It's just a small detail, but when people see this, they're going to be, wow, where did you get this? So guys, go check them out. I'm linking to them down in the description. Gentlemen, that's it. Like I said, I've got tons of resources over at Real Men Real Style when it comes to shoes. So if you want to see some of the infographics, you want to grab the ebook. Guys, I've got you covered when it comes to footwear. And that's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video.